Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to Jackson Robert Scott about season three of Walking Key, which recently dropped on Netflix Worldwide. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. It's uh, pretty crazy. I mean, it's three seasons now for you playing Bodhi. When did you start getting kind of really familiar with this character, would you say? Was it early on? Uh, Yeah, I mean, Bodhi has a very similar personality to me. So um, I just kind of took it on as just uh, being me, but just saying lines to it as well. Um, That was a big part of course you know um spoiler alert when i was dodge that was completely different (laughs) um but uh everything else you know um of course there was some uh there's a learning curve there always is a learning curve with every character you do no matter how similar they are to you as uh as a person um but you know i i got it pretty pretty quick um during the first season i would say yeah um and, you know, um, I had a blast, and I absolutely love the character. Absolutely. A big argument could be made that Lock and Key is a genre-bending show. What element of it do you like the most specifically? Do you like the horror component? Do you like the fantasy? Do you like the drama and the family component? Was there one that kind of stood out to you? Um, probably the fantasy uh, component the most, you know? Um there's a lot of awesome things that they did with the keys. And, uh, of course, I think they could have done so much more because there's so much to do with them. But um, what they did with the, show, with the keys in the show was amazing. Um, and uh, I think that everything, you know, with the special effects um, and, you know, the cinematography of all the keys, you know, um, and, of course, the uh, inter- intricate designs of the keys that were made. Um, that was so cool to see them. Uh, yeah. Everyone in, like, uh, the VFX department and the cinematography uh, department did their job so amazingly. And I think they really brought that magic to life. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorite kind of elements of season three of Lock and Key was the time travel component. What was going through your mind when that was part, like when you found out that was going to be part of season three? Um, oh, I think it was, um, I think it was episode one or episode two that it happened. Um, when I first read the script, I was like, oh my God, this, I'm going to have so much fun with this. Um, and of course, uh, Liu, uh, who plays, uh, um, my friend, my, my friend that is a girl. Okay. Don't get that mixed up. Uh, uh, so when we were, uh, doing that together, uh, that scene, it was super, super fun. Um, and I think that we really had a blast with it. And then later on in the season, uh, season three, you know, what we do with the Hercules key, it really, I think it sets the story. Um, yes. it's the uh, story, uh, going, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have a favorite character of Lockheed for you specifically? Like, have you thought about this? Like over the three seasons? Ooh. Um, Hmm. I mean, I I mean I can't really. Uh, th- that's tough. It's uh, not tough for me. Do you do you want? Okay, ask me who my favorite character Lock and Key is. Ask me who my car- favorite character is. What's your favorite character? Doug Brazel. <laughs> oh, obviously. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That is my favorite too. I absolutely love Jesse's character. Absolutely love him. Um, I think that. Really, uh, he the Savini really Squad was like one of my character. favorite things about the show. I yes, love the Savini Squad. I, do. I think I totally actually agree with you. I'm not lying. I think he was my favorite character. You were also a recurrent guest on On Set with Jesse Camacho, with your host Jesse Camacho, which was on Instagram. It was one of the most oh my gosh, hot yes. and up and coming talked about like talk shows behind the scenes. It was like one of the biggest things ever. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh my God. It was so funny because uh, we were actually we were just like spitballing funny uh, like ideas, and then one of them was like we could like do like a podcast <laughs> with me and Jesse, um, you know, 
uh, it's just so it's so silly but I feel like I we would have really good fun with it because he is such an amazing person oh, and yeah. he is super funny too so I think that that podcast I would have such a blast and I bet he would too oh yeah um, and honestly even though it was a hypothetical idea I would absolutely love to make it a reality Oh yeah, no, for sure. I know it's just funny because he started that like he, he he posted those during the pandemic for like season two, and you were yeah. in, and you were in one of them, <laughs> and I guess it worked and you enjoyed it because you showed up. You're on like three episodes when he posted the, the ones for season three. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I love them so so much. Literally, I would like when he'd be on uh set one day, I'd be like. So we doing another episode of just uh, on I'm your host on the just show, and I was like, and, and he, I would ask that, and he'd be like, well, uh, not today. Oh, well, we'll do it another time though. Uh, and so I was an absolute fanatic. Um, absolutely. But you know, I I absolutely love Jeff, and oh, for he is sure. an amazing uh, coworker and such an amazing friend. Yeah. Honestly. Oh, absolutely. Um, no, he is. I I went to school with Jesse, so me and Jesse go way, way yeah. back. Um, yes. Oh, he's awesome. No, he is. Um, you know, m the horror component of Lock and Key was one of my favorites. You said the fantasy was yours. Um, you're no stranger to horror. You know, you worked on the It franchise. You worked on the Prodigy. What in your opinion? is like the coolest thing about working in the genre of horror is it the fact that it's so big right now is that one of the coolest things about it um gee i don't know um i actually uh in my opinion i think that it's the special effects yes you know um i think they're getting so much better and that means that there's so much more freedom for horror films mm -hmm. uh but also, I really like just like how it did. Um, I there was CGI done for it, but there was also a lot of old, um, old like a uh, CGI, like not old, but old, uh, old school VFX. Yep. Like I got uh, dragged into the drain. Mm -hmm. um, they tied a rope uh, on my leg, and then they uh, took the rope, and then they pulled it in, and then I fell into the storm drain. Uh, so that was all real. Um, and of course, I think there were some other ones too. Um, but that was just for my scene. Um, yeah. oh, and there was a lot of stuff just like that, that Andy uh, really did super well. Um, you know, and he tried to minimize the use of CGI mm -hmm. and only when it was needed, which made it look 10 times more real. Um, and, uh, even though there only was so much CGI, he made it look amazing. Oh, absolutely. Um, I think that it is. Um, and of course, uh, even though I was in it, I promise I'm not being biased. I think it is probably one of the best horror films ever in history. You know, it's really up there. I so, think it might. Yeah. Right. You might, you might or might not have played Georgia in that movie. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. You know, I like that kid in the yellow raincoat. Has that happened, though? Cool. Has that happened when you were at, like, a mall with your family and people recognize you and then you just yell from across, like, you'll float, too. Like, has anything like that ever happened? Um, well, actually, well, um, <laughs> I was just at the mall with my friends not too long ago, um, maybe a month or two. Um, and um, I remember there's this guy that came up to us and he was <laughs> And uh, he was an older gentleman. And I was like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? And then he came up to me and he was like, oh, my gosh, are you Ch are you Georgie from It? <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, yeah, I am. He's like, oh, my God, I'm such a Can you imagine if you said no, people, but people say I look like him? <laughs> yeah. I, actually, the funny thing is I kind of do that sometimes. I'm not going to lie. I kind of do that just to mess with people sometimes. Um, but sometimes, you know, um, I'll say, yeah, you know, and then they'll maybe ask for a picture and I'll totally 100% say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, yeah, actually I only usually say, um, no, uh, I, I, people say that I look like him, uh, to people at school, like, uh, because I go to public school mm -hmm. and a lot of people, you know, ask me cause word gets around that you yeah. have an actor 
at yeah, school. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Um, usually when people ask, I say, no, people think uh, I, uh, I look like him though. And then <laughs> I'll like, just walk away. <laughs> but, um, but usually like out in public, I'll totally 100% say, oh yeah, yeah, that's me. Um, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being a fan. And then maybe they'll ask some questions. Maybe they don't. And then, you know, we yeah. maybe take a picture and then have a nice day, you know? Um, and I love interactions like those. I think they're the most genuine. You know? Absolutely. We'll get back to Long Key before wrap up this interview. But I am I heard that you are a like a big fan of telling jokes. You're a good joke teller. Is that is that true? Um, well, uh yeah. no. I, I like to I like to say a joke or two. It all depends in the moment, though. It's not like I can say like a knock knock joke. You Are know? you a fan oh, of dad oh. jokes? Are you is is Are Jackson you... Robert Scott fan of a dad joke? Um, depends. Because I happen you know, to be it, I happen to be a I dad joke. Like a good, and when I mean good dad dad joke, because not and not many of them are really good. I mean like uh something that's stupid. This is so stupid that it's funny. Why uh, should, hey, Jackson, kind of... why shouldn't you trust stairs? Because you might trip? No, because they're always up to something. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That's a my good one. Like, that, oh my that, God. <laughs> no, that uh, that is a good one. You know... I used to work at a shoe factory, but I quit because it was soul destroying. Or you know that, that uh, or, or you know you know that restaurant on the moon. You went to that restaurant on the moon with your family, and you said the food was good, but it had zero atmosphere. <laughs> oh my gosh! You can keep going all day. I can. I got a dad joke calendar a couple years ago for Christmas, and that was a mistake. As you could tell, because that's 365 dad jokes. But before we wrap up, because we have to wrap up this interview, when people get a chance to watch, all three seasons of Lock here are available now on Netflix. They can check it out. Um, it is It has concluded. Um, what are you hoping they get out of it when they watch season three of Lock and Key, like takeaway-wise, like the audience? Uh, <laughs> um, if, they, if, if they've watched uh, season one and season two already, um, I really hope that they uh, find closure yeah. with, uh, you know, the, the series because it is the last season. Mm -hmm. um, but I also hope that they feel, um, you know, that. Um, yeah, I mean, I probably that's really all I have to say. Yeah, no, absolutely. Closure and they thoroughly enjoyed it. You know? Ab absolutely. Yeah. Jackson, Robert Scott Jackson, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turn. It was great chatting with you. Yeah, thank you so much for inviting me. I had a blast. Absolutely. All three episodes are available. There are some movies like called, I don't know, It? Is it called It? They're around too if you want to oh. check them out. I don't know. <laughs> um, you have an Insta They can follow you on social media. Right? There's an Instagram account they can keep up to date with? Uh, yes, it's called Jackson Robert Scott Official. Um, there you go. No, and, no space. And episodes Sorry. of Onset with Jess Camacho with your host Jess Camacho are also available on Instagram. I am a co-host. <laughs> well, this has been <laughs> absolutely. Well, this has been Pop Turn of YouTube.com slash Pop Turn for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Jackson Roberts. Got to play Bodie in Lock and Key season three now available on Netflix and PD Beats. Signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.